Well, hi. Welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. If you like the videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you want to know when a new vid comes out, hit the bell icon. Now let's go see the Tired Old Queen at the Movies, Steve Hayes. Johnny, I'm so delighted to see you and, and I'd love to have you. I mean, I'd like to... Come in. Um, oh, Johnny, you know what? I wanted to do a Judy Holiday movie. I just love her and I missed her. So I chose 1954's It Should Happen to You, directed by George Cukor with a script by Garson Kanan and starring Judy Holiday, Jack Lemmon in his very first film, Peter Lawford and Connie Gilchrist. Now the plot of this movie is that Gladys Glover, who's Judy Holiday, moves to New York and she sees all these people around being famous and she wants to be famous. She thinks it's very important to be famous. Of course. So uh, she's in Central Park one day and she meets up just by chance with this young filmmaker. He's doing a film, a documentary film and it's Jack Lemmon on things and he starts filming her and they strike up a conversation and she's really nice and she says, don't you think everybody ought to be famous? I think everybody ought to be famous. He goes, I don't really think anybody ought to be famous. I mean, what's the great about being famous? She goes, what's great? Are you kidding? You're famous. That's what's great about it, you know, I want to be famous. So she gets this idea. She sees this, this billboard and it has, you know, blank. It says for rent. So she goes to this place and she goes, hi, hi, how much can I get that billboard for? They go, well, uh, you know, a thousand a month. All right, that is. What do you want to say? What do I say? Just my name, you know. She's saying, like, yeah, my Gladys Glover. You say Gladys Glover. So sure enough, they put up this billboard and, and, and they got they did it. They put up this billboard at Columbus Circle that says Gladys Glover. And then nothing else, just Gladys Glover. And she just walks around all the time looking at it. Don't you think it's nice? What? You know, the billboard. Don't you think it's nice? I, I kind of love it. Takes Jack Lemon over there and he goes, what? What? Look! Why? I don't know. It's so, so clear. Let's go. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't have to mean anything. What do you mean it doesn't have to mean anything? I mean, what are you doing? What are you advertising yourself for? I'm not advertising myself. I'm just kind of letting people know I'm here, you know, some kind of thing. Well, he's all upset about this. And she's approached by this young playboy played by Peter Lawford. And he, it turns out that his he's the young president of this company, and his company has owned that billboard for years. So he takes it, he offers her money for the billboard. She goes, he says, I'm gonna offer you like $10,000. She goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I sell it. Well, yeah, what about 20? No, what 20 is that? No, I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna sell it. I don't think I'm unreasonable. You don't? No, I think I'm reasonable. You're the ones that are on. And they go on and back and forth and on and on. And he just, and of course he falls in love with her. She, he's crazy about her. He drives Jaguar and they go around and around. And he comes to her and he says, okay, what if we do this? We'll give you 10 billboards around town with your name on it, if we can have this. And she goes, really? Do I get to pick where they are? You want to pick where they are? He goes, sure, sure. Why not? Pick where they are. But she's got them at the entrance of the Holland Tunnel. She's got them over. She's been really careful about where she puts them. Suddenly, she's a celebrity on the news. They're out having out dinner with Jack Lemon in some little restaurant. The television's on. Who is Gladys Glover? Who or what is Gladys Glover? Did you hear that? Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that amazing? They know me. They said that. They know me. That's great. They go over and she talks to Michael O'Shea, this guy Michael O'Shea, and he says, let me manage you. Let me get you on programs. Well, you know, pretty soon she's on local programs like Woman to Woman and What's My Line and all these things, you know. What's your name? My name's Glass Glover. Harold! Yes? Guess who this is? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I give up. It's Gladys Glover. No kidding. <laughs> Why should I? So <laughs> this goes on and on, and it just builds up. And basically the whole premise is, will she go with the millionaire, or will she go with Jack Lemon, who she's just perfect with? You know, I mean, he's Jack Lemon 
in this movie is so charming. You see why he was a movie star instantly. I mean, he's just got it. We're gonna have a long talk in a few days, Gladys. In fact, several long talks. They have this romantic story back and forth. They improv a lot of their stuff. When Jack first came on the picture, he was too big. He was he had come from Broadway and he was too big for the camera. And George Cukor would just make him do take after take after take. And you know, get him to slow down, make it smaller, slow down, make it smaller. Now everybody watches me just as if I'm the chip. You see what I mean? <laughs> Cukor kept saying, improvise, you guys, improvise, you're great, you're great, because she'd been doing improvisation forever. So there's a scene um, where they have an argument. Well, do me a favor and forget it. Oh! So is it still on for Friday lunch? Certainly. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. He goes in and that was all improvised, and it's so cute. They did so many charming bits together, and they sang together, and they joked together, and it was a wonderful, easy way despite, you know, at first getting used to it, but it was a wonderful way to get him into films and introduce one of the great comic geniuses by one of the great comic geniuses. Not only where there's a will, there's a way, but where there's a way, there's a will. You see? Judy Holliday, Jack Lemmon, Peter Lawford, Connie Girlcrest, and George Cukor's delicious It Should Happen to You. Yeah, yeah, we should. Let's all go to the lobby. And when Let's he came back with help, she could change the tire. And she was like, okay, lobby. let's go. Yeah, I'm stabbed. The <laughs> they went, and they were best buddies after that. Popcorn can't be beat.